Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the topic leaf and its venation. So what do we mean by venation? Let us look into this video. Venation, this word or this terminology means the arrangement and the distribution of veins and veinlets in the leaf lamina. We know what is leaf lamina? The flattened green portion of the leaf uh, or the blades that is the leaf lamina and there the veins and the veinlets are arranged in some patterns or random patterns. So that uh, organization or arrangement is known as the leaf and its venation. These venation or the veins and the veinlets they form a structural framework of the leaf blades. So they give a proper structural framework to these lamina. What are the main functions of these veins? The function is the conduction channels. They uh, form the conduction channels. Why? Because these veins and the veinlets they are in direct contact with the vascular tissue system of the stem. So we know what is the vascular tissue system? The xylem and the phloem through which water and the food materials can be transferred. So these veins they actually help in carrying out the food materials that is prepared in the leaves. On the other hand they also brings about the from the xylem and the phloem the water and the minerals and the other food particles and they help in distribution in the leaves. So their main function is that they act as a conducting channel. Now let us look into what are the different types of venation that can be possible. Basically there can be two types of venation. The first type is known as the reticulate type of venation. So what is this? In reticulate type of venation the veins are very irregularly and randomly distributed and the, because of this distribution in a random fashion they form a network. So let's look into this picture. It's clearly visible that the veins over here this is the midrib and the other veins we can see over here they do not show a pro proper pattern of arrangement. So they are totally randomly distributed and very irregularly distributed. So this type of irregular random distribution of veins and veinlets that is known as the reticular type of venation. This type of venation that is reticular venation is mostly found in case of dicotyledonous plants. Let's look into the other type. The second type is known as the parallel venation. What is parallel venation? So from the name we can understand that the veins are arranged parallelly as you can see over in this picture. See the veins they are arranged in a proper pattern and they are mostly parallel to each other. And this type of venation is mostly found in monocotyledonous plants unlike the previous one these are found in dicots and here these are found in monocots. So in this video we have talked about the venation of the leaves that is the arrangement of veins and veinlets in the leaf and we have also talked about the two different types of venation that is reticulate venation where the veins are randomly distributed and the second one is the parallel venation where the veins are parallelly arranged. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.